41 Action News reporter Jian Kim met with the captains of Linux and Overland Park's fire department. She even rode along with them, all to get a better insight into their training and how you can stay safe on the water. There you go. Even on a hot summer day like this, the Lenexa Fire Department recruits are layering up in life jackets. You get to that moment where you think, I can handle this, but it takes that one instance, right? Captain Phil Geisel leads the water rescue training for the department. The skills he's teaching right now is vital, as it could mean life or death for someone in danger. Knowing your area, knowing your surroundings, knowing how to deal with water that doesn't look like it's dangerous, but you can't see what's underneath, that's probably one of the biggest reasons for us to, to need the training. Pull up to the side of us. Geisel says knowing your location at all times is crucial, especially when out on large lakes like this. Any information you can provide can speed up the rescue process. How many people are in the car? Um, where did you last see them? Is anybody under the water? Those are all things that would be extremely helpful for us to know the information before we get there. Here in Johnson County, the Overland Park Fire Department also trains up to six times a year in rough conditions. The city is far from big lakes, but severe weather poses the dangers of swift water to the area. Rising streams, um, swift water, vehicles being swept away, yeah. people getting too close to the water. Captain Jason Nee says this time of year, the department sees an uptick in water accidents. Most of them are caused by people being under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Knowing your limits and being prepared are very important. Make sure they're in the appropriate PPE, the appropriate uh, PFD uh, for their size, for their weight, and again, for the activity that they're going to be doing to make sure that you have a lifeguard if you're going to a public pool. Uh, and if a lifeguard is not available, just make sure that you've got somebody who is a, a water watcher. If you are competent in the water, it's always a very good thing to have your CPR certification. So whether you're planning to float the river or go for a dip in the pool, experts say it's important to have respect for how powerful waters can be. Jian Kim, 41 Action News.